Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen, Better One. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man version of this beautiful mod. We have left the last session in the middle of the combat to recap where we currently stand. We're being flanked by a Viper over here, uh, got some reinforcements and lost coming here, like pretty much a lot of uh, them. And we got about four or five enemies over here. Um, this here is not true, that is a graphical bug, and this here is a graphical bug as well. So, with where we are currently, I think it's fair to say we might need to clean up some of the losses first. I want to keep some of them still, to be honest. Simply because uh, they are really good targets for the enemy. Now, having a harbinger over uh, here in such an exposed position, I really don't feel that that's a good position for him to, to begin with. We gotta deal with a mech. If we were to reposition ourselves, could do that we could even go all the way up to here which is an interesting prospect considering that we need to deal with a flank here and having him moving all the way up to here could be a really really nice flank so maybe that's the right way to go before we do that though let's see what the alternatives are Definitely would like to kill the mech, but this is only a 50-50 chance. On the other hand, if we kill it, we get death from above and we can continue slaughtering. So let's try to kill it. So by the way, it was a 50-50 chance to kill it, but it was a 100% chance to actually hit it. Good. I'd like to get rid of this guy here. Okay, the rest can stay where they are. And in terms of holo targeting, we have a few options here. But before we get into that in detail, let's secure this flank here. So it would continue to be a suppression. I don't know what we're going to do with uh, the uh, skirmisher yet. I do have a couple of ideas, but... Let's see. Um, one of the things that I definitely would want to do is I'd like to go into a flank over here. I think it's a great time to be aggressive. Lightning reflexes will prevent us from being hit. And this here should be a pretty solid flank, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is. Good. Very good. Yeah, 38% not really good enough. And we need to have a, probably a better sniper position. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea of taking high ground. That gets us out of trouble. And by moving over here, we're having a very strong position for next turn.
I'd like to continue letting him, ha uh, letting the skirmisher have the um, defense or aid protocol. It's not a bad idea. And having a person essentially standing over here just to nail uh, or to to block them down is good as well. That applies pressure on this section of the map. Finally, uh, let us take full cover. Again, this guy here, that's a graphical mistake. It's one of the issues of... Oh, now he disappeared. It's one of the issues of uh, Long War Better 1. These glitches. Really annoying. We could go for another flashbang. Might not be the worst idea, to be honest. So that's one option. Another one is flashbang over there. No, I think that here is a good option. And since Stevart is the only one in partial cover, uh, holo targeting doesn't really cut it. I don't want to get rid of more of the loss. We are hunkering down. That way, he's in better cover and will not be attacked. Plus, can't be critted, so a lot of advantages. There are the reinforcements. Lucky us. Only three soldiers. None of them. None of them. Uh, uh, none of them mechanical units. And relatively low hit point pools as well. Enemy fire on my position. Great. He's burning, that means he cannot do shit. Even better, they're using, like I predicted, they're using their shots for lost ones instead of us we've positioned everyone in full cover and that's really necessary this here is kind of one of these scenarios where you where you essentially need to fight uh, you cannot just um, use a cheesy tactic or one good flank to to get out of the situation you you need to buckle down and just continue the fight. Yeah, we gotta kill uh, this guy that's the enemy scout. Luckily he needed to reload. Very nice. Some extra damage. The Lost are doing a phenomenal job here. That's good. That is not so good. Okay, so first things first. We got a full magazine. And we wanted to get into a flanking position. Let's kill the officer. 
Nice. Really solid shot. I want to preserve ammunition. That was a really low chance, less than 10% for a grazing shot. It still happened. Unf very unfortunate. Locked and loaded. Very unfortunate. Okay, so. Got to deal with the officer and with a couple of the other enemies. Let's do the gratis kills first. Diva does a wonderful job up here. 50-50 to kill the officer. 50-50 to kill the guardian. I would really like to see the officer going down. I'm not sure where that guardian is currently located. Trying to assess if we move forward, if that would help us with actually hitting something. I like the high ground up here. And we might be able to get another flank going, right? Right. I'm trusting you here. But 30% uh, to hit is just ridiculous. Could position ourselves over here. Probably a good call. Will give us enough momentum to deal with the uh, sector. Probably not kill it. But if we do have the choice, we always want to take the flanking shot, or almost always want to take the flank. Yeah, on the other hand, you can make an argument. If we could kill one of these guys, they'd be gone for good. Unfortunately, we have too many enemies to actually kill all of them. Moving to here into half cover, not the greatest cover, but we're flanking. Plus we get some loot. Yeah, and that would be the guardian. Let's try to kill him. That's good, because they do have a high aim. And it's good if he uh, when um, that that we finally got him. 50-50 to get the big boss. Now that it is gone, we don't need you guys anymore. There you go. Hmm. I mean, we could move up to here.
we move up to here that would still open um, open up a potential flank but he is gone the guardian is gone there is one gunner over here but there are still loss he cannot take a shot so moving to here isn't the worst idea this here would automatically cause a flank and I'm not sure if we can kill the Viper right away. That is my biggest concern. I want the flank though, so I'm willing to take the risk. Yeah, luckily we could kill it and that finally closes the chapter. Whew, difficult one. That finally closes the chapter with the Viper there. Getting rid of one more lost now we'll keep the door open good time for run and gun like I mentioned this here is a solid, really, really solid um, position. Indestructible cover, full cover, with the exception if we're going to be shot from here. 50 50 for a kill, or, well, with a crit, max damage crit, we could kill it. No, we couldn't. Mm -mm. But we're going to deal damage and it can mind control next turn, so might be not the worst idea to already prime it. There we go, 11 points of damage, really solid. Good, time to steady the weapon. Time to overwatch. And let's see what the enemies are doing so far. It's getting better, but we're still having a lot of enemies. Yeah, we're on a heavy, heavy, heavy fire there. is unfortunate I was hoping uh, that he wouldn't kill all of them because now these guys are free to roam and start de uh, start doing dam uh, damage it's good to see that he's already wounded because that gives us the option to finish him I was I was afraid that that might happen. We're in a tough spot over there. Definitely in a tough spot. Oh wow. Okay. No, 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 please, no! The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Okay, wow, well. Let's first of all use the revival protocol because we need every gun in this battle. It's getting close, boys. It's getting close. All right, Diva here. Certainly not going to kill our own soldier. Actually, got a couple of decent shots, to be honest.
Got a couple of pretty decent shots. Let's start removing the Overwatch here. Best case scenario would have been that we would have just killed him. I don't like the 50-50s. But it's the best that we can get at the moment. Good, next up we need to break the mind control because this is probably our biggest problem here. Luckily it worked in our favor. This time I think holo target is the right choice. I don't like the half cover here that we do have, but uh, there is almost no good alternative. Hmm. Let's think about it. So we could move all the way up to here. Is this going to trigger his overwatch? It isn't. So we could alternatively move to here. Which is going to trigger his overwatch. We can alternatively move all the way up to here. Half cover but we're standing right next to him and we would kill that guy and it's triggering the overwatch freeing up an important slot so gotta play this aggressive here we might lose um ghost that's lightning reflexes and the area suppression Pretty low crit chance, to be honest. What's his chance for a stun? Oh, even worse. He's burning, so he's not a threat. Could move up to here. and take a shot with the barrels essentially killing it Full cover, all of that is full cover. Hmm. Can't do an area suppression from back here. How far does a flashbang go? The flashbang, we could hit both of these guys, sort of taking them out. He's taken out. We can then kill this guy. We're left with only one enemy. Right. 
Move into here, into full cover. All right, if we were to flashbang, we couldn't reach um, those guys. We can, however, suppress. Not the worst idea. Before I make a move, let's see if we are actually killing this guy. Kill him. Okay, and the reason why I play. No, no, I misclicked that one. Okay, super, super stupid mistake. Very bad. Um, I was about to explain the reason why I am playing this one aggressive is we don't have many other options to be honest if we're not going in and playing the aggressor here we're continuing to have um, issues and will eventually be bogged down so we got to take calculated risks I haven't left anyone in the open And we have covered for the lowest hit point targets. So we're kind of at the point where we now need to be successful, otherwise we're going to die. Or we're going to have death. Everyone's wounded. Another set of um, losses is going to come in. Good. Let's clear the flank. The way that we want to do that is with high ground and a good positioning. Skirmisher moves over. I was hoping that we would be able to see him. Apparently we're barely not doing that. That's 50-50 and see if we can get something out of it. Unfortunately not. Still up. Offering some of the VIPs as targets before our agents would die. Two potential targets. Mm, how could we do that? Reloaded. 
We're not in the best position, but yet we gotta kill some of them. So let's see if if we get them down. Okay, so that's one down. We cannot even heal. We don't have the time to do that at the moment. Whatever you say. Good. So we finally cleared the room. Which leaves us with two enemies. Got suppression. And we got some good solid flanks on them. Again, moving into cover. I don't want to stand in the open. And let's suppress the Guardian. Means he needs to move. That was the sacrifice that I was offering. And there's the dead guardian, good. We might even be able to pull this off. Won't be many enemy, uh, many of our VIPs left over. I think, matter of fact, I think we just lost the last VIP. There we go, hit and run. Let's take the loot. The Alarum Core is worth quite a bit, so that was successful. Question is, where, where are the losts? We're healing ourselves. And let's move on. Ready to go. All right. Moving. I think we actually lost all of the VIPs. Gotta apply some healing to our ranger and then just get out of here. Time for a good reload. Our sniper moves. And yeah, we lost all of the VIPs. The last one was our sacrificial lamb. 
Uh, elsewise, the infantry would have died. <laughs> Alright, look at that. We cannot not deal with the reinforcements, unfortunately. What a heart mission. I love it. Let's think that through. We continue to move closer to the evac point. Don't want to do the mistake in staying back. Make sure we get the enemy. There we go, Advent Shield Bearer. Unfortunately, a miss. Pretty solid hits. Uh, not yet a kill, though. Good. We're still continuing to stay in cover. I am absolutely not sure why exactly... I never clicked here. We're essentially standing here. That's pretty bullshit. Hmm. We're starting to get rid of the loss. Good. Let's heal. So we can make sure that we ta can take at least one shot. I'm okay taking the 40% shot. Overwatch wouldn't have been much better than that.
Not the best damage odds, but... Oh, we have a high chance of hitting. Alright, I think we're just double moving at this point. I'm pretty disappointed since I realized that we lost the last VIP. I felt we were doing so good overall, considering the circumstances. Just such a slugfest. Alright, time for us to head out. That's one. And two. And three. Ten, four. And four. Ten, four. And five. And let's kill this guy here. We I have no ammo. And move out. Good, there is another swarm coming, and boy oh boy, it feels we have dozens upon dozens upon dozens of enemies that we've killed. This is Firebrand, it's time to go. Finally. Finally, we can get out of this. Probably, we're just getting some loot. Got some experience for the troops. Good to go. And got ourselves... Move, move, move. Yeah, actually, some loot and some experience. That's pretty much it. Good. Time to go. Good. Time to get out of here. was a good try but we lost all of uh, the enemies we killed 41 
tactics and improve going forward. Operations Tomb Slab was a Tomb Slab. In hindsight, eh, we probably wanted too much and might have been better off to not take the mission. Would have resulted in the exact same result. Every five um, operatives would have been killed. Yeah, but we would have probably not get, uh, gotten any of the experience and none of the loot. I think we got two Alarium cores, if I'm not mistaken, and a few weapon modifications, so that was okay. Good, time to land. We got four promotions. I think, now that I see that, it might have been worth it. Anyways, so... We're definitely going to take Locked On. Very strong skill, specifically for high aim rangers. We got a new rank uh, with um, Harbringer here. I like the combat fitness. Aim, mobility, hit points, wheel and dodge, that's really good. I also like the Whiplash, but it's a one-off effect. Hmm. Well, let's do combat fitness first. I think that is really helpful. The lightning reflexes aren't bad either. But I think we're instead going to take the whiplash. I'm really happy with how the skirmisher has performed, to be honest. The flanks were incredibly good. Ghost is going to take Fortify here. We need the extra defense. I like Infighter. That's not bad. 25%, uh, 25 dodge are nothing to sneeze at. So that's actually not too bad. What else does he get later? I like evasive. That's really good. Light him up is an absolute monster ability on him. And dead eye is also good. So he's getting even better traits, which means we're going to save his ability points. Divat got a new rank and is now tech sergeant. Congratulations, man. So we either get Dead Eye, which I like. Yeah, we're probably going to take Dead Eye. It's just a, an absolute helpful skill. Specifically, Dead Eye and uh, Kubikiri later in the game are necessary to deal with with massive fuckery from uh, from the enemies specifically sector pots and so on gatekeepers they have just immense amount of hit points the sprinter plus one mobility probably not worth the uh, the points Yeah, I'd rather take kill zone and definitely combat fitness is uh, absolutely worth it. So, Dead Eye is the way to go. Yep. Which gives us two additional Larium cores, two advan uh, advanced laser sights, and a stock. It's good. Check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. And we probably will need to um, check for faster healing. Because of the advent rate, a Resistance member cannot be assigned to recruit for 21 days. So 
look at that. We lost the five members. And they are now in hiding, which I think is not the right plan. We cannot we cannot go for uh, recruitment. In which case we're going to go for supplies. And by the way, supply engineers were helping with that. Yeah, we don't have an engineer left over. Okay, whatever. Might as well take uh, Mike Bravo here and maybe uh, scout out one of uh, the double agents. Yeah, we need to heal faster. But before we do that, let's check the black market and sell something we also need. De definitely need more uh, supplies here. Ooh. We could get a Shinobi Corporal. Ah, that would take almost all of our supplies. But I like it. I don't want to sell the corpses, but the Illyrium cores. We could sell both of the Illyrium cores that we've just gotten. Yeah, we're keeping the corpses. They are too valuable, but we can get ourselves a Shinobi Corporal. Oh my god, another mission. Alright, enough time to actually infiltrate it. And we could would get some intel out of it. But I do have my doubts that we have enough people to actually staff that mission. Because we just almost got wiped. So yeah, we would have that. That would need to be a mission with three people. Having Mike on uh, the mission, Shinobi Mike, and Rachel here. Hmm. It's a heck the workstation mission. Let me see if I can do something. All right, after some. Actually, a lot of back and forth. I managed to come up with a team. We took uh, Mike Bravo out of his role as uh, advisor. He's going to join us here. We take the new uh, recruit that we've gotten, the Shinobi. By the way, in hindsight, I should have probably purchased the Shinobi prior to the last mission, but yeah, whatever. Shit happens. So we're taking him. I stopped the shinobi training on our only rookie that we had, Peters here, and we're taking a rookie with us, and finally at least someone who can hopefully make sense out of all of that. I guess we're taking a second med kit. I get the feeling we will, we will require it. So with those guys, I think we do have a pretty solid overall team. Got the chance for 100% infiltration, and we are expecting 10 to 12 enemies. That's good enough. Can still boost it, but that is kind of counterintuitive. Where I rather fight against 10 to 12 uh, enemies and do not spend intel, because the only reward out of this mission here to begin with is intel. And there we go. We're already with the next mission. Guys, it's uh, rapidly happening. Next mission is already uh, on the horizon. It's time for mission Operation Moon Star, where we are going to go in with hopefully uh, this time a bit better odds. 
and I'm looking forward to play that in the next run. Thank you so much for watching. As always, thanks for supporting the channel. Leave a comment or a like and see you in the next run. Bye bye.